I remember now, like it was last week. It was summer and my tadpoles were sprouting. Catch bees? Come on, sausage, hurry up! Yeehaw! What's a hedge? My dad's hedge was his pride and joy. A fortress like Defender of the Garden Oasis with them. Hey. Trespassers, dogs, and stray footballs need beware. Hey! It would be all sent away with a swift kick in the arse and an earful. <laughs> the day, however, well, the day will be different. See you later, Bingo. In 1971, the Hausnest to the was strictly off limits for the British Army or any forces of the Crown. Barricaded on, the inhabitants were always on the lookout for intruders. Oh, fuck. Oh, Hull behind the crescent ship load, a vivid purple haze drifted across our football field. Caught out by Big Saucy's dirty hunting for bees, the Green Invaders made their strategic retreat. However, the alarm had now been raised. Cortina sped to the counter attack, arriving brum full with gunmen. Boots stocked with firearms of all calibre and vintage. We watched from behind the sofa as the boys rushed to take up firing positions amongst the houses and backyard. From the front street, a combat had a gunman, replete with scarf, dark glasses and red checkered shirt, vaulted unsuccessfully sideways through the hedge into the front garden, like some no-hooper in Grand National Day. Da said nothing. We said nothing. The machine gun had opened up from the top of our coal shed. Every soul had to deck a polished lino. After pressed a bit, all present scrambled along the living floor to the perceived safety of the small hallway behind the stairs. That's where we spent the rest of the day. Outside, bullets set, unseen roof tiles exploded, and modern school plate glass windows shattered. My tadpoles had no chance. The shooting lasted all day, dwindling the silence with twilight. By then the army were long gone. Tranquility descended, and fish suppers beckoned. The curious thing was, that for all the bullets discharged that day, none found their intended target. Not a single soul was taken, scratched or dented. The proverbial mouse scampered off unharmed. In time, the hedge would grow back. That night I couldn't sleep. My mind buzzed with thoughts of collecting the treasure of golden brassy bullet shells deposited in the back garden. There'd be Master 303s for sure. On the far side of the room, my older sisters giggled. Did you see Bingo Kennedy jumping over the hedge? 